As a combatives competitor, you know to bring the pain. But if you bring it to these guys, they bring it back. The combatives program uh, helps instill the warrior ethos in, uh, in the soldiers. It also uh, helps them stay physically fit and motivated within their units. The guys that I've seen in you know, multiple uh, competitions so far, they, each, uh, each year they, they come back looking even more fit than the year prior. The tournament included seven different weight classes, starting with flyweight and working up to the big boys, the heavyweights. Even the spectators noticed the competition level increase from previous years. It was a good event. I think it turned out well. We had a good showing uh, from all states. Um, I think the competitiveness uh, level has gone up um, from what I've seen, and I, I think that it, it was a great turnout. The competitors were tough in every weight class, but the bloodiest battle was between the two heavyweights. The start of the fight was high impact, but the end of the fight was no less brutal. When the cage door was opened and the medics had cleared the fighters, the first place trophy was presented to Staff Sergeant Braden Simonette. Compared to uh, some of the tournaments in the past, there's a lot more uh, skill with this tournament. A lot more. There was no easy, easy opponent. It was really close a lot of times, man. Like, it just happened to be a scramble and one of us would end up on top. The winners of this tournament will go on to represent the Guard in the All-Army Combatives Tournament later this year. Nicole Bateman, Fort Benning TV.